What is going on, my big trucker B family? How are y'all doing? So, I'm actually going to talk to you guys about major companies and smaller companies and what it's like working for both. We have companies out there that are, that are huge where you start and you get your foot in the door with. Then you have other companies that are owned by local owner operators or smaller uh, fleets that might require some experience. So, sit back and relax and enjoy the video. And as usual, like and subscribe. Thank you. Life's like a road that you travel on. There's one day here and the next day gone. Sometimes you bend, sometimes you stand. Sometimes you turn your back to the wind. There's a world outside every darkened door. The blues won't haunt you anymore. With a brave are free and love and soul. Come ride with me to the distant shore. If you won't hesitate to lay down garden days. This is my first time yet today. So I have actually worked for two major corporations and three um, smaller companies. I'm currently working for a smaller company of 18 trucks. My During my time with the mega corporation of rail transport and mountain truck lines, I've noticed with the bigger companies, they all, they all are kind of the same in a way. Um, of course, each one has their own little perks, their own little trucks, their own little, you know, things that that kind of make them different but when it comes to the pay and and their their corporate values or their um their guides you know their the way of handling things it's a lot different to a company that's smaller so you've all heard me talk about rail and mountain but i haven't told you guys about one of the smaller fleets i work with now um the small fleet i work with now it's a tanker fleet out of Phoenix, Arizona. They have about 18 trucks. Um, I have the phone number to my boss directly. I have the phone number to the owner directly. And see, that's something that these major corporation uh, carriers, <laughs> good luck. Good luck ever having that, honestly, because they, um, excuse me, <clears throat> they, they pretty much will, when you try to call and talk to your fleet manager, You'd be put on hold and you hear that same old jingle, the, the elevator music that they put in there while you hold. Um, anytime you need to talk to someone about maintenance or HR or anybody, it's always just on hold and, and you got to wait. And then you got to enter your driver number and then you got to wait some more and then finally somebody answers and picks up. Compared to a smaller fleet of 18 trucks like the one I'm working for now or even less, and maybe a couple more, where you can just call phone directly of anybody you want HR phone number boss phone number owner phone number I feel that with local companies there's more of a of a uh, personal connection uh, between the driver and the owner or the boss the boss person <laughs> I also feel there's more of a family aspect and more respect and when you need help you need help um, prime example this week I needed uh, like a $600 cash advance. I know you guys are thinking, wow, 600 bucks. Trust me, I, I had to go. On, I had no problem giving it to me, and they said, oh, we trust you. You're my, you know, your your credits go with us here, and they don't take the full cash advance out all at once on my next paycheck. They'll just take partial payments, uh, and they'll say, do you want us to take out your check, or do you want to bring in cash? You know, I'll, now I'll either bring in cash or they'll take it on my check doesn't matter it's, it's good having that relationship with them plus when you need to go somewhere um it's just very it's very nice having that option whereas a major, major corporation will probably give you a shit about taking a couple of days off for family or you have to set or you have to work for them a year just to take a week off or two years to take two weeks off or five years to take three weeks off now i'm sure they give you perks of paid vacations and all that but I feel that the working for a big corporation is just there's not as much family values as they claim to have, and that it, I mean, it's all right. It is what it is um, because they have other stuff that smaller corporate that smaller companies don't have. 
So smaller companies um, normally have older trucks, sometimes might have truck issues. <clears throat> uh, my company that I work for, they, they don't really, I mean they have older trucks, but they always keep them intact. But there's other, there's been horror stories of smaller companies, um, you know, not keeping up with their equipment and just problems have, happen all the time. Whereas a newer company will actually just immediately take care of you. So there's some positives and negatives about it. Um, a bigger company, except for Aero Trucking, which you guys all remember that story back in the day. But major companies, you won't really uh, have to worry about not having a job the next day because of issues happening with financial financials or, the, or them shutting down or some scandal happening. Now, you all remember Aero Trucking. Uh, that happened down, uh, what, you know, happened a while back, and the the CEO ended up getting arrested because he was, you know, had a lot of scandals going on, and and you guys know the story, and I feel that with that, that's pretty rare for that to happen, but it does happen and it can happen, but it's, but for a major corporation, it, it's rare. Now, for a smaller company, you might have to worry because if you get a guy that just bought another truck and he says, oh, come work for me, get 1099 form, I'll pay you this much, I'll pay you percentage or mileage or whatever, and then he doesn't pay his truck payment or he doesn't pay whatever he needs to pay, and then you're stuck on the road, broke, and without a truck and a job, and, and you're, just, you're in trouble. And that's not to say that every company is like that. Because not every company is like that, and, and you know there's a lot of small companies out there that 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 do pretty well. And you can always tell, you can always tell the good. There's like a balance. So you got there's a balance of of being a small company and being able to hold finances. Get like you have to ask yourself: Are you getting paid every week? Are you driving your truck without any problems? Are they having you do some shady shit like oh well drive on. Uh, a flat tire for another 10 or 20 miles or or bald tires you know even though you're going into california past the way station you know you gotta you gotta really look at the fine line whereas a big major company would not ever do that to you um then again uh, let me re rephrase that i have heard of swift doing stuff like that and another company where they'll make you drive with bald tires i don't know have you guys ever had that issue happen to you if you have leave a comment down below because uh, i would love to hear your story if if you work for a major corporation and they've had you drive and do some shady shit <laughs> but it's all about personal preference a lot of major corporations do those w2 forms or w9 or whatever uh whereas a lot of uh smaller companies will do 1099 which you file your own taxes but you get your full mile check and you can have tax write-offs, you know, whether it be your phone or purchases, anything, but you got to be really careful, um, with that stuff. So yeah, I think when it, in my personal opinion, when it comes to choosing a company, I like working for the smaller ones because I feel that having a relationship with your boss, um, like having that, having that contact that you need you know in case you do have a family issue or in case something is wrong and being able to get that get the help you need from your uh, from your boss if you need it um where i feel like it the smaller companies do have the family values that the big companies say they have but i've heard a lot of horror stories of you know f families having a hard time being together on christmas or thanksgiving or pregnancy births or or you know something going on or and they just say oh well we'll find you a load there and then they find you a load there but it's already two days late you know there's something going on so just do your research guys when you're when you're looking out um for a company you just got to keep you got to look at places like glassdoor even google reviews facebook ask people um but like i said in an earlier video be careful who you ask because they always want to try to get those driver referral bonuses um i think that the smaller companies they they may not offer you know hiring bonuses or or little other bonuses but they make up for it in other ways whereas these big companies they do have those hiring bonuses but the hiring bonuses, in my opinion, are kind of a sham because they only pay you a little bit of time and you won't get it for like another two to ten years, you know, depending on how much it is. So there's that. 
Um, but what do you guys think? Would you prefer to work for a major carrier or would you prefer to work for a local company? Because it's it's definitely a, it's definitely a, it's it's a big debate, and I would love to hear you guys' opinions. But with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and as usual, Big Trucker B out.